So, hello, welcome back, everybody. Uh, another Let's Play 1.8 with Mods episode. Um, I will admit, I did play episode 2 and record episode 2. Um, but when I listened back to the sound, it was absolutely terrible. Um, so I've scrapped that, and I am recording now with my new mic, as you can probably hear. Um, so I did a few things in the previous episode 2, uh, such as... I expanded our corn farm a little bit. Made that area a bit bigger there. I also dug this little base here, a little hidey hole to go and hide in should night come. So we have a little chest with our bits in and such. Very rudimentary place. Um, and I also went and ventured off to the sandy area over there and had a look at what I thought was a dungeon, but it wasn't. It was just a hole into a cavern. Um, I think too exciting over there and just made my way back. So that took most of episode two because I had to go all the way up and all the way back down the other side and then find my way back again. Um, I think I also went up this cavern and lit it up as well because there was a bit of a dark hole there that was uh, a little bit annoying. Boop. And I worked out that this lighting bug was uh, fine and then you look at a mob and it goes like that, which is rather strange. So, welcome back episode 3. Um, episode 3, episode 2 that you're seeing. Um, episode 3 in progress. So, we will... Pick off from here. No Blood Moon, obviously, in my previous play, which is good because I have no idea what that's going to be like, and I want that to be on camera when that hits. Um, so we'll carry on. So, so I have a new microphone, as you can hear. So hopefully, the sound is a lot better than previously. Um, I do apologize again for the state of that. I didn't quite realize how bad it was when I uh, started recording. Um, but it's done. It's finished. I have this new microphone. It's a proper studio type mic with a stand and a pop filter on the front. And that's so the sound quality should be reasonably good. So what do we have we have a bit of stone a bit more wood so food yes that was what I was interested in we're starting to get the corn growing but I do want a bit more of that so what we're going to do Let's pop back up here. And what I'm planning to do is dig tunnels through um, so that I can get quicker access to the surrounding areas. So when we go adventuring and exploring. So what I wanted to do was the first one I want to is about from there. So it's just the other side of this outcropping here. So let's pop up the top, see what we can see. See where that will come out. Nope. Nope. So. Do, do, do. So we're coming about there. That's pretty much actually going to go through about here. So that will come out. Excellent. The bottom of this valley somewhere. Is that a canyon or a cave? I don't know. We'll go and find out one day so if that coming out here that will give me access to this desert area and then over here to this so that sinkhole was there that's what I thought might have been a dungeon that little area there but it's not um, 
So that's good. We'll dig that through and then we'll um, see where that gets us. Ooh, out. Ooh. Uh, can we get down here? Let's see. Yes. This looks like a pretty big drop. <coughs> Ouch, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm going to need more coal, so let's grab that while we're here. Dig, 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 dig. Typically, I run out of a... Uh, run out of pickaxe. So, we're going to go through... out here dig through next to this waterfall um, excellent so what I'm going to do is hopefully get some corn as well as we go I'm gonna make some more pickaxes like so Boop. I have some torches but we're gonna need more than that I feel Boop. Okay. That should be good. Evil red ra red eyed rabbit. So that's going to start going through. Hmm, what should we do? Let's do it here. So I want to make it a three by three. made a shovel in fact I'm gonna go and do that quickly sorry make you watch me make a shovel in fact let's make two good yes yeah, so this tunnel is gonna go through about here that's better going to go straight through at this level so I'm going to go and dig that off camera and I will be back um, when that is done see you in a minute just thought I'd show you actually but the mini map has um, switched to underground mode so I can actually see as I'm tunneling the um, caverns and caves around me which is pretty useful um, so I'm actually not going to run into anything as I go through this way. Um, but you can see the other side of the waterfall at this level, there ought to be a cave. So just in the uh, interest of science, that's telling me somewhere around here there ought to be a cave. So I'm wondering how much elevation difference there is in in what it's showing me there. I'm a few blocks lower, so it's that cave at the bottom there might be a couple of blocks below where I was. So I'll go and investigate that later. Um, but in the meantime, I will see you when I finish this tunnel. Goodbye. Okay, welcome back. I have harvested my wheat and I've dug pretty much all of this tunnel. Um, so my inventory is full up a couple um, so I've gone almost all the way through so we're going to break through and have a quick peek see what's on the other side so I'm just about sustainable in food now the wheats I could do with a few more but um, you see from the mini-map we're almost through here so we're just going to dig out these last few blocks one, two, three. So I need to put a doing a torch every five blocks. Which should mean nothing spawns in here. I think the darkest points there are not dark enough for mobs to spawn. Don't really want to be halfway along this tunnel and then get surrounded by mobs. So we're starting to hit dirt at the edge now. Went through about seven pickaxes. 
dig in this tunnel, which is good. And we're through. Ooh, quite a bit higher than I thought. It's not necessarily a bad thing. So, so from here we can go out here. Through this canyon and out into our desert area. I'll uh, probably come and clean these up, maybe make a better route through here at some point. So we have come up a little higher than I thought we would. So let's get back up there. We need to mark where this tunnel is, don't I? Oh, fail. Eh. Okay. So we are here. So if I put torch like that and torch that, that will mark. So we need to get to so this is our tunnel that makes getting out this side a little easier than it was do, do, do. so there are some caves off to my left there which seem to start around the same place as my um my hut but i'm not not quite sure how this map is showing things because to the map, I just duck in here. It's right here. Um, so the mini map must be showing things that aren't quite at the same level, which is fine, I guess. You know roughly where you are with it. So we had one night whilst I was digging that. Um, no blood moon or I would have turned the camera back on gradually filling this up so what do we need what do we need so we could probably do with a bit more a bit more wood had these trees spawn so let's just use up this wooden axe get this wood And of course the problem with stopping and starting the video um, to skip the boring parts is I have no idea how long this episode currently is. I forgot to do my timers. Um, I think we've got another five minutes or so um, and then we'll call it. So let's dig those. That's that. I'll leave that for now. So what I kind of want to do is have all these tunnels coming to the centre here. A few farms around with some animals and wheat and stuff. And tunnels going out in all four directions to the local landscape to get us out of this this sinkhole. Um, so we'll do that. Again, I'll dig most of these off camera. Um, and we also want to get up to the top of this at some point. So... We're going to have to create some sort of staircase up and round so we can get up there relatively easy. Um, not sure what the best way of doing that is. Um, a bit too jaggedy for ladders and things, a bit too dangerous to fall off and stuff. Um, maybe we can go up through there and up, spiral up round or something, but we'll we'll figure that out in a following episode. And dig it out and all the while of course we are waiting for a blood moon to spawn and have some fun with that so I'm going to go and dump some of this material because I don't need it right now and I must stop running because I'm just burning up my food 
I do have a chicken and an apple, but not too much. I do have five, five. I forgot I had the iron, which is good. But let's get rid of some of this for now. Now, do I want to? Yes, I think I do. Let's start cooking up some of this. I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Um, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A bit more wheat. Any more wheat ready? One. So our rabbits seem to be multiplying, and I know rabbits are um, famous for doing certain things, um, but they are multiplying. It would seem, whether it's just me or not, I don't know, but let's plant these extra trees. Lovely. Okay. So we got the tunnel done and a bit more farming and we're in good shape. We're in good shape should a blood moon come. Um, so it's becoming nightfall now, so I'm going to call that the episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Oh, there's a skelly there. Let's go and get, get kill the skelly quickly. Um, yes, so last time, apologies for the sound in the first episode. Um, Well, that has now been fixed. Oh, that's good. That gives us some bone meal. So we can get this stuff going. So let's take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. And take that. Replant. Boom. Almost filled our farm. Brilliant. Okay. Before it gets nightfall. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Ta-ra.